We started this event about three years ago and it's burgeoned from there to this worldwide uh, global competition for students. We're trying to engage with students to think about security at the heart of whatever they do and by promoting it through competition, giving prizes, uh, interacting with professors and security experts, they have a leg up into the security field. What's unique about this conference is that uh, you get to meet a lot of people from industry rather than just meeting uh, academic people. You have a very good chance to meet international participants from other countries and it's a very good platform to share your ideas with them. Sometimes you can really get a new idea by doing the same thing, the same thing over. So talking to people definitely help advancing my research. I actually have learned a lot and all the presentations today. Um, it gives me exposure to the areas that I actually am not working on. Just bringing better awareness of cybersecurity. Like, I have not thought about this very much. This isn't my field of research. But now seeing these presentations, it lets me know there's a larger world I did not know about. Definitely saving the world is not something that you can do easily. It's kind of a hard question to answer. What would you do to save the world? Does the world really need saving? That's the real question. I would do whatever it takes to save the world, I suppose. I like to help in the cybersecurity. To be a, a cybersecurity fighter. Building a secure system is better than just detection. Every device that we use today, it relies heavily on softwares and computers. Every user device should be able to be protected, and this results in uh, having higher levels of protection. And working with people, educating people about the importance of security issues. Just unplug the computers, you'll be fine. I'm not joking. I guess if you want to save the world, you have to go to the source of the problem, and they start with people. And so, if you want to fix the problems, you have to start with the people, and people have to change. <laughs>